Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Uh, hi, Juan. How are you doing today? Fine. Uh, fine. Uh, and you? Pretty good. Thank you for asking. Waiting for Friday. And what about you? Juan? How's your week? I'm very busy. Oh, you mean very busy? Yeah. Okay. That is, uh, it's okay to be busy because um, maybe you only don't have to, uh, time to think in other things. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Are you working from home or are you traveling to the office? Yeah. Are you working uh, from home? No, no. I work in out. Ah, okay. Good. And what about you, Fidel? How are you doing? How was your day at work? Hi. How was your day at work? Uh, in my work, I... Tired. 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 Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, it's tired. Tired. Uh huh. Do you work on weekend? Do you work Saturdays? Yes. Uh, Until noon. After noon. Okay. All right. Almost there. And you? How about you, Darwin? How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Hi, Darwin. How are you doing today? Yeah. Excellent day. Excellent day. Awesome. Yes. Fantastic. And how are you doing with the platform? Could you complete the exam? Yeah. Homework number 13. Homework in the section number three. Um, yes. Okay. What about the midterm exam? ¿Cómo va con el examen? ¿Ya, ya lo terminó? ¿Corrigió algo? Eh, no, como es hasta la, creo que hasta la tarea número 15, ¿verdad? Y después va el examen. Ajá. Soy... Yeah, you can continue working there. Eh, pueden continuar trabajando, pueden corregir los ejercicios que les hayan salido malos y eh, para elevar la nota también se pueden corregir. Uh -huh. Igual el examen y si se pueden adelantar, adelántense porque ya esta semana este, tendrían que tener terminada hasta la sección 3 y si pueden avanzar en la 4 sería mucho que mejor. Uh -huh. Cuando dice... Bueno, bueno, es que está excelente, ¿verdad? 20 de 20. ¿Hm? I didn't get that. No, no lo escuché bien. Abajo dice, al final, cuando uno termina las cinco preguntas, dice 20 de 20, creo. Uh -huh. Si sí, dice 20 de 20, es que está todo bien. Si dijera 20, 10, o los números no fueran iguales, si sí, estuviéramos mal. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Sí, igual cualquier duda pueden mandar las fotos al grupo. Si no se sienten cómodas mandándolo al grupo, me lo pueden mandar a mí para ver cómo poder ayudarles. Solo que no les contestaría tan rápido, pero le voy a contestar. <laughs> And the rest of you, Efraín. Hello, Efraín, how are you doing? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your day at work? Is yeah good okay but there's something good. do you work on weekend what sorry do you work on weekend saturday sunday 
on Monday. From Monday to Friday. Ya me perdí, me agarró un curva. Me acabo de despertar. Oh, really? Nice. Sí. Do you work from Monday to Friday or you work on Saturday and Sunday? Um, Monday, uh, Friday, uh, my all right is eight hours. And Saturday is 12 hours. Okay. It's very direct. Yes, I imagine most of uh, most of the people work on Saturday until noon. La mayoría trabajan hasta el sábado a mediodía. Es raro que tenga jornada diferente, but that's fine. Vanessa, how are you doing today? Fine, teacher. Awesome. Okay, so I see that some of you are going to be late. Some of your classmates. But we're going to start with today's topic, okay? So we will continue working, uh, sharing activities, uh, things that we do every day. We're going to include the time and also we're going to work with preposition as I told you before. So today is our video conference number 14, meaning that we just having left six more video conferences and we're gonna finish this module. Remember that it is important for you to complete the platform. And if you can go ahead and, and do a more exercise, you can do it, okay? So uh, we have been practicing the time and we have been practicing routines. Uh, so we're going to try to complete this including the activity and the time. Uh, for example, I see here in the first drawing, okay, I see in the first drawing, how would you call I it? get up, I get up at eight o'clock. Oh, uh -huh. Yes, thank you so much, Karina. I got at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one here, give me this one, the next one. My dad, my dad take a shower, takes a shower at 8 15. At 8.15, yes, you can say my, da my dad takes a shower at 8.15, and that's correct. All right, uh, next, let us take a look to this picture and try to complete. Mm -hmm. Wash his hands. Yes, my brother washes his hands at 8.20. At 8.20, very good. Now, I volunteer for the next one. My parents breakfast. My parents and the verb here. Oh. It is breakfast. It is. It's, it's breakfast. My parents eat breakfast at? At 8, 8.30. At 8.30, excellent. Thank you so much. Now, volunteer for the next one. <laughs> My dad. Uh, my dad get dressed. Get dressed. Gets dressed at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Very good. Next drawing. 
my sister brush brush her teeth aha uh -huh. remember that is third person so it will be brushes my brush. sister brushes her teeth at At what time? Nine, nine, ten. Oh, nine. nine, ten, or ten after nine. That's correct. Let's move on. My granddad. You know, the verb here is come. As a word here. Come. Ese es el verbo peinarse. Come. Como se los estoy escribiendo en el chat. Come. Como está en tercera persona, la oración, tercera persona singular, comes. With BS. Comes. My granddad comes. His hair at. Night quarter. And night quarter. Or a quarter after nine. Very good. Next. My sister. Go to school. school. Uh -huh. Go to school. Remember that is third person singular. Uh -huh. My sister goes. Whose school Our teacher arrives? At my sister goes to school at quarter to ten. A quarter to ten, very good. At a quarter to ten. Now we get home. Get home. Yes, it can be get. We get home at. One, uh, half past 30. One. Yes, you can say at one thirty. Well, the answer at one thirty or at half past one. One thirty or half past one. And that's okay. Next, my dad. It lunch. Okay, my dad eats lunch at quarter to two. At a quarter to two. Excellent. Next, I. 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 Do. I do my homework. I do. At three thousand three three twenty. 20. Yes, at three twenty or at twenty after three. That's okay. All right. Uh, next, we play computer games. Uh huh. We Five. play computer games at twelve. 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 Five. 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 Five o'clock. Good. Let's continue. I eat. I eat dinner. I eat dinner at. Half past eight. Half past eight. Good. Next, we watch watch watch, watch TV at twenty two night. 
20 to 9. Very good. Now, my mom will above reels. Reads a book at nine ten. Nine ten. Very good. And finally, I go to I bed. Go. I go to bed go at, to bed. at ten fifteen. At ten fifteen. Very good. Okay. That was the review about the time. Eso fue el repaso de lo que vimos de la hora. So we're going to check attendance before we continue. So remember to turn on your camera, raise your hand and say present. Let me get ready with the attendance list. Today's 11, okay. And uh, Darwin Edgardo. Okay, thank you. Tell me, Sanabel. Present. Thank you. Diego Fernando. Diego Fernando, not here yet. Douglas Isael. Not here yet. Okay, uh, Efrain Antonio. Present. Okay, thank you. Fidel Coreas. Present. Thank you, Lord de Maria. Present. Thank you. Henry Samuel is not here. Uh, Juan Ernesto. Present. Okay, thank you. Karina Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Luis Alonso. Okay, Maria Adriana. Present. Thank you. Maria Estela. Present. Thank you so much. Maria Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Melanie. Present. Thank you so much. Nelson Alfredo. Okay, le escribió que iba a venir tarde. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Okay, and Reina Beatriz. No, it's not here. No me faltó nadie. No. Okay. Good. So we can continue. Okay. Now, well, the next activity that we have uh, to develop is on page 35. What we're going to do here is to tell different people and the specific time and dates that they do activities at the workplace. We have to write down the activities or the list of activities that, well, you can share the activities that you have to do or the activities that you do and sharing it with the date. Uh, for example, here you have to write the name of your classmate and the activities. Uh, for example, you can say, um, you can interview your classmates or you can share it with your classmate and write them first. Vamos a escribirlo primero para que luego lo compartan. Vamos a escribir lo que tenemos que hacer eh, o lo que hacemos normalmente en la semana. Eh, por ejemplo, podríamos uh, decir I, I, send, I send my lesson plans on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. On, on Fridays, I send reports about production. On, um, on Tuesdays, I have meeting with my boss at 8 a.m. 
So I have to say my activities and then my classmates are going to take notes. So primero tienen que escribir lo que ustedes hacen en la semana, incluyan el día y la hora. Y luego lo van a compartir en grupo para que sus compañeros tomen nota en este cuadrito que tienen acá en la página 35. El nombre del compañero, las actividades, la fecha y la hora en que la desarrolla. Así tienen que llenar este cuadrito. Solo le voy a dar tiempo para que primero escriban sus actividades.
Okay, I will create a breakout room so you can get together with your classmate and share the activities that you do and write them down.
Okay, we are all here again. Okay, so uh, let me see how many of you are here. 13. Okay, we have 13. Okay, we can continue with this other activity. It's part of the next exercise. What you have to do here is to ask different partner these questions and write down the answers. We're gonna do it in group. Uh, so let's complete it as a whole group. Uh, Flor, can you ask the question number one to another classmate? Ask question number one to another classmate. When is your next meeting? Pregúntale a alguien. When is your next meeting? Okay. Um, Fidel, when is your next meeting? Mm. What is the mean meeting? Reunión. Okay. My, my next meeting. my next meeting is on the next Wednesday. Okay. Entonces ahí los compañeros pueden anotar Fidel's meeting is next Wednesday. ¿A qué horas, Fidel? What time? At at uh, nine. O'clock, 9 a.m. Okay, very good. Ahí pueden anotar. Fidel's next meeting is next Wednesday at 9 o'clock. Now, Fidel, ask the next question to someone else. Remember uh, pronunciation. What time do you arrive what? to work? What time do you arrive to work, Vanessa? Uh, this day I arrive to work at 6 a.m. Okay, entonces los demás pueden escribir Vanessa arrives to work at and the time. Okay, let us complete the number three. Vanessa, ask the question number three. When okay. are your next vacation? Uh, Maria Stella, when are your next vacation? My next vacation is in, is in, in February. Okay, now that we have completed this, we are going to continue with the next slide. Okay, well, as I told you before, we are going to start studying the preposition at, in, and on. Eh, como les comentaba ayer, estas preposiciones se pueden usar a, para hablar de tiempo y para hablar del lugar. Y cada una tiene un, un uso. ¿Cómo la vamos a usar? ¿Cuándo vamos a usar at? ¿Cuándo vamos a anteponer in? ¿Cuándo vamos a anteponer on? Ya sea que estemos hablando de tiempo o de lugar. De lugar las vamos a ver la próxima semana. Esta semana vamos a practicarlas eh, utilizándolas como prepositions of time. 
right? So vamos a estar um, usando at, in, on, con el tiempo, okay? Nos vamos a enfocar en eso. So let's see, vamos a usar at plus times of day. Vamos a utilizar at cuando nos estemos refiriendo a, a ya sea hora del día o periodo del día, ¿verdad? Parte del día. Por ejemplo, tenemos aquí at 4 o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at midnight. Con noon y midnight vamos a usar at o cuando estemos diciendo eh, alguna hora, ¿verdad? Del día. También vamos a utilizar at cuando nos refiramos a tiempos de comida. Meal times. Eh, por ejemplo, si decimos, uh, te, veo, te veo a la hora de almuerzo. I see you at lunch time. Uh -huh. eh, te, veo, te veo a la hora de la cena. I see you at dinner time. So when you are, um, cuando vamos a mencionar algún tiempo de comida, vamos a decir at más el tiempo de comida. Si es lunch time, dinner time, or breakfast time, right? Now, también vamos a utilizar at cuando estemos hablando de holidays, cuando estemos hablando de festivos. Uh, for example, at Christmas. Okay. At Eastern, you know, Eastern. What is Eastern? Pascua. Pascua. Mm -hmm. At the weekend. Okay. Um, also with the expressions, con expresiones como el presente, eh, de momento y también con la expresión en la noche at present at the moment at night vamos a utilizar in cuando uh, vamos a mencionar meses por ejemplo in April in, Jan in January in August, in September, etc. Uy, se me fue. Okay, seasons. What are seasons? What is the meaning of seasons? Do you know that word season? Estaciones. 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 So, también cuando nos estamos refiriendo a estaciones, vamos a utilizar in. Tenemos dos ejemplos acá. In, so, in the summer. In the spring, what is in the summer? Verano. En el verano. In the spring? Primavera. En la primavera, primavera. yes. Primavera. Um, también cuando vamos a mencionar años, por ejemplo, ahí tenemos in 1990. En 1990. In 1990. Uh, o cuando vamos a mencionar décadas, por ejemplo, in the 80s, in the 80s, centuries, in the 20th century, long periods, in the ice age, in the present, in the past. Also, with some parts of the dates, también vamos a mencionar in con algunas partes del día. Por ejemplo, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Excepto la noche. Para decir en la noche decimos at, at night. Por eso está en rojito ahí. Con las demás usamos in. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and so on. Now. The preposition on, we're going to use it when we are going to mention days. Vamos a usar on y luego vamos a mencionar un día. Por ejemplo, on Tuesday, on Saturday, 
también con las expresiones como en mi cumpleaños, en el día de acción de gracias, en Christmas, en Halloween. Para todos esos usamos on. On my birthday, on Christmas day, on Halloween, etc. También cuando vamos a mencionar las fechas. On 15th June. On 20th May, on our anniversary. Those are some examples. Parts of a specific day. También si vamos a mencionar partes de un día en específico como on Monday morning, on Friday evening, on Saturday night, or on Sunday afternoon. Questions so far? That is practice. Okay. Uh, una, uh, a question, teacher. Yes. Um, at, eh, se usa para como Christmas, Easter, y, y estaba viendo ahí que OM también entra como en Halloween. Uh -huh. eh, son días específicos cuando es OM. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fiesta de día específico, no general la fiesta. Y es not all the time. Uh -huh. okay. Si sí, no That's siempre, it. son como, como ya como expresiones ya dadas algunas veces. Y como les decía, eso es con, con práctica. Any other question? Esto lo vamos a estar practicando y se lo voy a mandar también al grupo porque pues yo sé que es bastante información en ese cartelito. Ok, and we have some time expressions. Aquí también las tenemos. Aquí se ve un poco más claro y hay más ejemplos. Ok, como les decía, con time expressions... Um, Aquí tenemos las partes del día con las que usamos in, at y on. Luego acuérdense que cuando vamos a mencionar una hora utilizamos at. Y luego hay otras expresiones que nos pueden ayudar para desenvolvernos mejor hablando de rutinas, periodos de tiempo. Son time expressions que son muy útiles, se usan bastante. So, let us practice. Let's repeat. I get up at six. Get up. I go to bed around 10. I go to bed around 10. I leave work early. I leave work early. I get home late. I get home late. I stay up until midnight. I stay up until midnight. I exercise before noon. I exercise before noon. I wake up after noon. I wake up after noon. In the morning. In the morning. In the evening. In the evening. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. At night. At night. On Saturday. On Saturday. Otra vez on Saturday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On weekdays. On weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends, on weekends, on Fridays, on Friday. What's the meaning of weeknight? Weeknight, noche de la semana. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir que tiene clases en la, las noches de la semana, I have classes on weeknights. Gracias. Una pregunta. Yes. ¿Por qué se le pone a todos, por ejemplo, on Friday se le agrega la S? Es como refiriéndose a que es todos los viernes, como en general, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero si solo es una vez, un viernes, eh, no le agrega la S, solo dice Friday. 
Por ejemplo, si usted dice, te veo el viernes, o sea, no es que se va a ver todos los viernes, ¿verdad? Sino que solo este viernes. Si on Friday, te veo el viernes. Si on Friday, sin S. Pero si usted se quiere referir a algo que hace todos los viernes, entonces sí lo, lo pluralizamos y decimos Fridays. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, si quiere decir que todos los viernes se duerme tarde porque ya sabe que sábado va a amanecer ahí dormido uno hasta la hora que quiera, entonces usted dice, I, I watch um, or I stay up late on Fridays. Estoy despierta hasta tarde los viernes. Eso significa que todos los viernes. Entonces lo va a pluralizar solo cuando es algo que suceda siempre. Ese día o esos fines de semana. Por ejemplo, si es un hábito, algo que usted hace todos los fines de semana. Si yo todos los fines de semana voy de compras porque necesito el, el único tiempo para comprar comida o ir al súper, lo que sea. Pero es algo que yo hago todos los fines de semana. Digo, on weekends. I go shopping on weekends. Pero si solo voy a hacer algo un fin de semana, digo, on weekend. Thank you. Any other question? No, no question. Okay. Uh, so remember that this is uh, time expressions that can be useful. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos around, es similar a español. Cuando decimos alrededor de, así como aproximado. No, no estamos dando un, un tiempo específico, sino que como decir alrededor de. Around y decimos, eh, en este caso, una hora, ¿verdad? Eh, early. You know, it's temprano, late, tarde, until. What is the meaning of until? Antes de medianoche. Uh, uh, okay, no. <laughs> hasta. Hasta, como decir hasta ahí, ese es el tope, ¿verdad? Ahí termina, until midnight, Ant, until midnight, hasta. Uh, for example, you can say, I... Um, trabajo hasta mediodía. I work until noon. Usted quiere decir yo trabajo sábado hasta mediodía. I work on Saturday until noon. Yes. Uh, before. What is the meaning of before? Antes. 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 Ajá. Por ejemplo, usted quiere decir, yo, um, yo mando mi reporte antes de mediodía. I send my report before noon. Tengo reuniones antes de mediodía. I have meeting before noon. Now, after is the opposite. After es lo opuesto. After es después. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, con to continue with this exercise, we are going to circle the correct word. Vamos a leer. Le voy a dar tiempo para que lean. One, two, three, four, five, six. Son cinco porque la uno ya está hecha. Eh, solo escriban el número y la respuesta que, que um, es la palabra correcta. Por ejemplo, aquí en A1 tenemos I get up y tengo at until six at on weekdays. So tengo que escoger dos. I get up y dice six. Como es una hora. I get up at six. Y luego dice weekdays. ¿Qué voy a hacer con weekdays? At weekdays o on weekends. On weekdays. On week, weekdays. 
Yes, on weekdays. Entonces aquí sería at y on. Let's analyze the rest. I'm sorry, I... Me salí. Quería hacerlo pequeño para mandárselas. Pero lo voy a hacer después. Ok, there you go. Okay, let us check your answers. 
So what do you think are the correct answers for number two? At 11.30. At 11.30, okay. I have lunch at 11.30. Mm -hmm. And the, the rest, y lo demás? On, on Monday. On Monday. On Monday. Excellent. I have lunch at 11.30 on Mondays. Very good. Now, number three. I have a little snack around at, at, night. at night. Okay, excellent. I have a little snack around 10 at night. Very good job. Now, number four. On Friday. On Fridays. On Fridays. Early. Fridays I leave school. Before. Before. Early. Mm. Early on Friday. Okay, on Fridays. I leave school. Leave school early. 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 Ajá, porque before tiene que llevar algo más. Early. Antes de que. Antes de. Tiene que haber algo más después de before. Uh, en cuando estamos hablando de. Verdad. Estamos hablando de rutinas, de actividades. Entonces, before what? Ok, number five. I stay I before. Stay, I stay up until one a.m. Until one a.m. On weekends. On weekend. Uh huh. Remember, stay up. Es, eh, estoy despierto o ando. Es, ando. Es, Yes, es como estoy de pie, ando de pie, ando parada, estoy activa, levantada. ando levantada, Ajá. I stay up until 1 a.m. on weekends, okay, right. and the last one, number six. Mm -hmm. I sleep. I sleep, I sleep around on, how, on, on Sundays. No, on yes, Sunday. I sleep until noon until on Sundays. Sunday. Uh -huh. I sleep until noon on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Ajá, estoy o duermo hasta mediodía los domingos. Ok, now it's your turn to write the sentences about you. Van a escribir por lo menos tres oraciones similares a estas utilizando estas time expressions acerca de ustedes mismos. Les voy a dar tiempo para que escriban esas oraciones y que después compartan con la clase. Tres oraciones similares a estas utan, usando estas time expressions. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir la pantalla para mandarles la, la presentación. Así que para mientras le pueden tomar un screen o me esperan un ratito a que la comparta. De todos modos también voy a pasar lista. Así que voy a dejar de compartir un ratito y les voy a mandar la presentación y pues voy a pasar asistencia también. Vamos a ver la asistencia primero y después les paso la presentación para que sigan con actividad. Eh, teníamos, bueno... Pero vamos a verificar los que ya estaban y de los que normalmente están y no estaban la primera ronda tenía a, a Diego Fernando no se ha unido todavía Diego Fernando eh, Douglas Isael 
Present. Okay, good. Efraín, ahí está. Fidel, Flor, Henry, Juan Karina. Okay, ¿quién más me faltaba? Luis Alonso. No se ha unido, ¿verdad? Eh, otro que no estaba. Nelson Alfredo. Mm, todavía no se ha unido Nelson Alfredo. Y Reina Beatriz. Ok, tampoco está Reina todavía. Ok, so you can start working on your sentences and I'll send you the presentation in a couple of minutes. Okay, there you have the presentation. Ahí tienen ya la presentación. Ya se las envié. So remember that you have to write at least three sentences. Tienen que escribir al menos unas tres oraciones. Así como el ejemplo que tienen acá. Use time expressions.
Okay, who wants to start sharing? Maria Estela, would you like to share your sentences? Um, yes, I leave work late on Fridays. I have dinner at 7 p.m. weekend. On weekends? On weekends, uh, I get home at night on Mondays. Excellent job, Maria Estela. Very good. Choose someone else to continue. Escoja alguien más para que comparta. Uh, Juan. Uh, I get up at six o'clock. In the morning, I have lunch before noon on weekends. On Sunday, wash, play soccer all day. Excellent. Just someone else to continue. Thank you so much. Uh, tell me, Sanabel. Hi. I do exercise my job at 5.30. I get up at 6.30 a.m. on weekdays. And I get home late on weekdays around 7 or 7.30. Okay, excellent. Choose someone else to continue. Douglas. Okay, Douglas. Uh, hi. I get up at 5.30 on week, weekdays. Uh, I live, I lab, work at 3 p.m. I stay up, stay up uh, until midnight on Saturday. I sleep until at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Okay, very good job, Douglas. Choose someone else to continue. Okay. Um, Mayra. Okay, I get up at 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. I have lunch at 12 o'clock on weekdays, and I go to sleep at midnight on weekends. Okay, excellent, Mayra. Select the next person. Okay. Juan. Okay, uh, I get up six at six o'clock in the morning. I, I have lunch before noon on weekends. On Sunday, I wa watch, play soccer all day. Uh, Douglas, is that? Okay. <laughs> Um, 
Okay. Uh, I exercise uh, on Mondays at 10 p.m. Um, I get have I get up home. Perdón, I sería I get home um, at 4 p.m. Uh, and I get up on on Sunday uh, seven p.m. Okay, very good, Douglas. Select someone else. Alguien que no haya participado, Douglas. Okay. Uh -huh. Efraín. Okay. And I get up at five in the morning on weekdays. And I have lunch at 1 p.m. on Monday. And I, I sleep around 10 at night on Saturday. Good, excellent. Continue with someone else. Uh, Maria Adriana. Hey. I go to work at 9 o'clock. Do you have a drink in the morning? I don't want to sleep until finish. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Adriana, can you select someone else? A Darwin. Darwin. Hello. Uh, I get up. Hello, hello. I get up before 8 a.m. I have lunch at 12 o'clock every day. I finish my work at 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, very good job, Darwin. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. ¿Quién no ha participado? ¿Quién nos falta? María Vanessa. Ajá, María Vanessa, falta Nelson, Karina. Ok. Ok, Vanessa. Ok, um, I exercise before work on weekdays. On Friday, I leave to work at 2 p.m. On Monday, I have a meeting at 8.30. Okay, thank you so much, Vanessa. Now let's listen to Nelson Edgardo. Okay. I stay up until the 12 on Sunday because I watch TV, any movie with my family. And I work until the at 5 p.m. I get home late on Saturday at 7 p.m. I leave work early every day. And I get up at seven, sorry, on Sunday. Okay. Peace. Cool, thank you so much, Karina. Okay, um, I go to bed around 10.30. 
uh, on weekday. Um, I get up at 4 a.m. on weekdays and I stay up all the midnight on Friday. Okay, excellent. Now let us continue with the next exercise. Remember that this is practice. You can do more exercise whenever you have time. Okay, we're going to use these expressions to complete this paragraph. Vamos a completar este párrafo utilizando las, las expresiones que están acá en la cajita. Let's repeat. Around. At. Around. Around. At. At. Before. 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 Early. Before. Early. Early. In. 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 Late. 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 On. 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 Until. On. Until. All right, Until. so we're going to complete this paragraph. Vamos a completar este párrafo utilizando estas palabras que están aquí en la cajita solo una vez. Entonces, on ya está. Ya on ya no la van a volver a usar porque ya está acá. Everyone knows Pat at the hospital. Pat is a part-time nurse. He works at night on weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays. Aquí vamos a seguir el párrafo y van a ir completando con estas expresiones que tenemos acá en la cajita. Le voy a dar unos dos minutitos para que pues vean cuál iría en qué espacio y después vamos a chequear y a practicar. Okay, so let us check. Um, let's read and you tell me the answers. We have everyone knows Pat at the hospital. Pat is a part-time nurse. 
He works at night on weekends, on Saturday and Sundays, but sleeps most of the day and wakes up a little at night. Early. Before? Before. Mm. A little bit. I oh, don't know, a little. Before night. Or late. <laughs> Last night. In, what do you think is the best answer? I think it's before early. Sorry. Because then the it says that usually at 840 or and wakes up a little early. Uh huh. No. Late. <laughs> ya la habían dicho, pero me están diciendo muchas respuestas. <laughs> A little. Late. A little late night, como que no, verdad? Late night. Early. No, before. Early, uh huh. Um, early nine. You think it sounds good? Creen que suena bien? Early nine? No, no, no. Before, before, uh -huh. before nine. Antes de las nueve. Ahí mm -hmm. sí, queda bien. Before nine. Mm -hmm. Y luego tenemos the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the... Usually at 8.45 or 8.50 and he has breakfast very late around 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 9.30 or 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Está dando como un lapso alrededor de okay he watches television at until until uh -huh. He watches television until 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then start work. Late. And we have midnight. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál va con midnight? At at midnight, at. okay, at midnight, y luego, in the morning, ¿qué podríamos poner antes de in the morning? Early. Ajá, uh -huh. early in the morning, usually around 5 a.m. he leaves work, he has a little snack, goes home, goes to bed and sleep. Late. 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 Uh -huh. It's a perfect schedule for Pat. He's a pre med student on weekdays at a local college. Okay, and then we have the complete paragraph. So there you have the answers. We can check the answers and repeat to practice pronunciation. Let us repeat. Everyone knows Pat at the hospital. Everyone knows Pat at the hospital. Pat at, at, the, at hospital. the hospital. Otra vez, todo junto. Everyone knows Pat at the hospital. Everyone, Everyone knows, knows Pat at the hospital. Pat is a part-time nurse. Pat is a part-time nurse. Part he works at night on weekends. He works, he works at night, night on, on weekends. weekends. On Saturday and Sundays. On Saturday, Saturday and Sundays. Sunday. Pat sleeps most of the day and wakes up a little before nine in the evening. 
in the evening. Usually at 8.45 or 8.50. Okay, he has breakfast very late. He has breakfast very late. Around 9.30 or 10 p.m. Around He watches television as till 11 o'clock. He watches the television the the and then start work at midnight. And then start work at midnight. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Usually around 5 a.m. Usually around 5 a.m. He leaves work. He leaves work. Has a little snack. Has a little snack. A little snack. Goes home. Goes home. Goes to bed. Goes to bed. And sleeps late. And sleeps late. It's a perfect schedule for Pat. It's a perfect schedule for Pat. He's a pre-med student on weekdays at the local college. Okay, do you have any questions? The meaning of pre-med. The meaning of? Pre-med. Ah, como pre, pre-médico. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Es antes de medicina. Any other question? Yeah. Okay, no more questions. Let's continue practicing. In this, uh, vamos a completar estas conversaciones y ustedes van a decidir si necesitamos una preposición o no. Las preposiciones que vamos a usar son las que ya vimos. In, at, on. No todos necesitamos. Por ejemplo, do you go to bed? Y aquí está late. Antes de late no ponemos in, ni on, ni at. Por eso está acá cero. No se necesita. Do you go to bed late on? Aquí sí, porque tenemos la palabra weekend. On weekends. Do you go to bed late on weekends? <coughs> Yes, I do. I go to bed y aquí tenemos 1 a.m. ¿Necesitamos preposición antes de 1 a.m.? Yes. yes. At. ¿Cuál? At. 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 Ajá, entonces aquí at. escribiríamos at. At 10 a.m. Y así, así van a ir completando usando in, on, at. Cuando sea necesario. Si no es necesario, déjenlo vacío.
Okay, let us check a uh, volunteer for, um, well, in letter B, we said, yes, I do. I go to bed at 1 a.m., but I go to bed early. Early, ajá, uh -huh. aquí no necesitamos nada. Y aquí? On. On weekdays, very good. Number two, a volunteer for number two. Alguien que nos diga cómo dejó la número dos. Sí. Eh, do you study in the afternoon? No, I study in the morning on weekends. And I study in the evening on Mondays and Wednesdays. Excellent, Vanessa. Excellent job. Thank you. And number three? Me. Okay, Efraín, thank you. What time do you get up in the morning on week, weekdays? I get up at A in every day. Mm. On every day. Mm. Con every day no necesitamos. Uh, Todo bien, Efraín, uh, excelente. Yeah. Solo esta de aquí, no. Aquí quedaba vacío. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Sorry. And, uh, that's okay. Muy bien, lo hizo muy bien. Solo una de más, but that's okay. Number four. Me. Okay. Do you have English class in the morning? No, I have English class at 1.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday and Thursdays. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, our class is at 3 Okay, excellent job, Karina. Good. Now, as you can see the answers in the in the next slide, ahí tenemos las respuestas. Now, what we're going to do is a group activity. We're going to create a conversation and talk about what your schedule is like. Vamos a, a describir nuestro horario utilizando Eh, como base, lo que acabamos de hacer. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Do you, go to be, eh, do you go to bed late on weekends? Y ahí ustedes pueden variar. Pueden utilizar algo como weekdays o Sundays o Saturdays. Ahí pueden ir variando. Do you study in the morning, por ejemplo? Uh, what time do you get up in the morning on Sundays? Ahí le pueden ir cambiando. Y aquí tienen el ejemplo de las respuestas que van a dar. Van a utilizar las mismas preguntas si ustedes quieren para que se les haga más fácil. Y le pueden variar algún poquito para que no sea justamente lo mismo. Pueden hacer las cuatro preguntas. Son como preguntas como con conversación corta, ¿verdad? La respuesta es bastante larga, parecen conversa mini conversaciones, cuatro mini conversaciones. So, van a hacer algo similar en grupo y ahí pueden ir variando y en la respuesta pueden eh, poner su propia información, ¿verdad? Siempre utilizando las preposiciones in, on, at, así como hemos estado viendo. Eh, Preguntas antes que los ponga en grupo. No questions? No questions. Okay, let us do it. Okay, I'm going to create three groups. Okay. La, la 
primera pregunta, ¿qué significa? Do you go to bed late on weekend? Eh, vas tarde, vas tarde, los fines de semana. Sí, te vas tarde a la cama o te duermes tarde, los fines de semana. Te vas tarde, ajá. ¿eh? Ajá. Do you go to bed late on weekend, Darwin? Eh, yes, I do. I go to the 12 I am 12 eh, AM. PM. PM. Ajá, porque le está preguntando que si se va a dormir tarde los fines de semana. Ajá, entonces sería a las 12 de la noche. Ajá. Midnight. Pero Midnight, ah, o a.m., ajá, 12 a.m. Ajá, en la noche es el día. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you study in the afternoon? Uh, Are we? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Explain. Uh, yes, I do. I study in the three three twenty three twenty repeat, please. Uh, the pregunta is if I study in a Tarde. Sí, uh -huh. tarde, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Estudio yes. como las. Yes, In I English. Do. Yes, I do. I study. Study. Three. I study. I study. In three. Preposition. Okay. At. At. Three. Twenty. Okay, very good. What time do you get in the morning on the weekend? What time do you get in the morning on weekend? I get up at eight, eight thirty. Okay, good. Um, do you have an English class in the morning? No, I have English. Okay. Uh, solo así, no. <laughs> okay. Muy largo, la verdad. Yeah, in Ben. In Ben. Tell me, um, uh, Maria Estela. Okay, tell me, do you do you go to bed late on on Friday? On Friday, yes, I do. I watch some movie with my niece, and I go to bed around one a.m. At? Or it's 10 p.m. Around 1 a.m. or 11 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do you study in the in the night? In the night? No, I don't. I have finished my degree. Okay. Um. What time do you get up in the morning on weekends? Day. On weekend or, or weekdays? Weekday. Uh, on weekdays, I get up at 6.30 a.m. 
Um, what do you do in 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 the no? In the no. Yeah. Or at no. I I have my lunch <laughs> with yes. my best friend. Best friend. Boyfriend. Best. Yeah. Best. Best. Bet. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Every Bet. almost no on weekdays. Mm -hmm. We have lunch together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have English class in the morning? No, I don't. I have my class, my English class at night at 8 p.m. Okay, very good. Darwin Douglas, next. Okay, uh, Darwin, do you go to bed late on morning? Um, no, on um, Sunday. <laughs> Do you go no, to I bed don't. late on Sunday? Ah, uh, Sunday. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I go to bed twelve o'clock. Why, Darwin? I watch. Uh, Oh, I, I read the book and uh, watch the series. Okay. Okay. Do you study in the in the evening? Mm, yes, I do. Okay. Um, what time do you get up in the morning on Saturday? I get up at eight. At eight thirty every day. Perfect. Um, do you have English class in the afternoon? No, 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 okay, no, I have or no, no, don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Excellent. Okay. Bueno, ahora, Nelson, do you go you to bed? Do you go to bed? Late um, Sunday. Um, Any time, uh, yes, because um, I schedule my work is um, I work uh, on Sunday, and the next I take a nap. When when uh, I take a nap or. Uh, uh, or day free? Um, yes, I I get up. Um, I go the Saturday and and go to bed at twelve and midnight, midnight, midnight because I watch any any movie or I study. Yeah. Okay. Do you study in the morning? No, I do not. I study in the afternoon and evening. Mm. 
Next. Um, next. Maria, what time do you get up in the afternoon on wed weekdays? In the afternoon? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. In the morning. In the morning on um, weekdays. On weekdays. 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 Uh -huh. I get up at six. 6 uh, a.m. every day. Okay. Next. Tell me, do you go to bed? Late on Saturday? Saturday. Yes, I do. <laughs> Why? Because sometimes I visit my sister and we have dinner together and we go some, somewhere. And we are right home late. Okay, very good. Other question? Other song? Nelson, yeah. do you go to bed late on weekdays? Mm. Um, uh, Any time? Yes. I watch it um, in PlayStation or I'll read uh, any, any book. Yeah. Darwin, what time do you do? Do you get in the morning or on the Friday? No, I don't. Why, Frank? Oh. Why that way? Uh, I get up after eight. Um, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Okay, see you later. Bye. Teacher. Your microphone is good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, that always happens. Siempre pasa después que esta cosa se mutea solo después que hacemos dos cambios. So, uh, well, I thought you were practicing. It was excellent. My advice to you is to uh, follow the example. Eh, seguir el ejemplo como lo tenían ahí. Eh, tal cual están esas preguntas, pueden contestarlo acerca de ustedes mismos. Eh, yo sé que a veces hablarlo de un solo es difícil, eh, primero porque eh, es un tema de mucha práctica y apenas es la primera vez que lo vemos acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, y hablarlo así espontáneamente es un poco más difícil. Entonces, lo que pueden hacer es seguir practicando con el ejemplo, las preguntas como están ahí, contestarlas eh, con su propia información, escribir parrafitos pequeños. Y that's it. So we're going to continue practicing. Mañana seguimos con esto. Vamos a practicar más y para la próxima sección eh, va el mismo tema, nada más que ya las preposiciones las vamos a usar como preposiciones de lugar. 
vamos avanzando, así también avancen en la plataforma. Acuérdense que mañana viernes hasta medianoche debe de estar completo ya hasta la sección 3. Eh, si hay algún ejercicio que lo puedan repetir o eh, que les haya salido mal, también acuérdense de corregirlo para que pues no les vaya afectando la nota, ¿verdad? So, eh, no les voy a quitar más tiempo, sé que ya es jueves, noche, cansados, todavía nos falta mañana, entonces so, uh, go to bed people, sleep well and see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye, guys.